All right, guys, this is David again. I'm very happy to provide you with this video and this information. You have been missing out a lot of the action. And that's exactly what I want to put together this top five web editors for rapid web prototyping video. So what are we going to do? This is the package, this is the master list, this is my guide document. We're going to cover Pingendo, we're going to talk about Pingrow, we're going to talk about Dreamweaver, uh, Sublime Text, and Brackets. So what makes these web editors great or fantastic or why people actually like to use them? I'm going to tell you why and I'm going to drive you through each one. So when you get into your web design and your prototyping of web pages and interfaces, you know how to choose the right tool for the right job. So let's go for Pingendo. Pingendo is a free program. I actually love it. Yeah, it is based on the Bootstrap framework. So if you know Bootstrap, you can take great advantage of this. But even if not, even if you are a starter, uh, beginner designer, this tool will be a perfect introduction to frameworks. So essential uh, web editor, uh, a great tool, at least for me, Pingend. Now, Pingro is, let's say, a heavyweight version of Pingendo. It's not free, you have to pay for it, but there are plenty of features. You have a demonstration, I downloaded mine. You have the ability to edit in code. You have all these multiple property panels uh, it's great. It is more complex. I personally like uh, Pingin. It does what I need to do. Uh, but Pingro is really good. By the way, the sky's the limit. There is no restriction in using all these text, uh, all these uh, web editors all together. My personal advice is you don't have to stick to one um, editor and be radical about it and say, okay, I'm just gonna use this and that's it. No. Maybe try to tackle, uh, you know, one project on one different editor, and then you're going to notice which one works. Uh, Dreamweaver, this is the old wolf. This has been in the industry for a while. I love it. Designers love it. It's intuitive. It's powerful. It is uh, flexible. It's not free, but uh, let me tell you, this is going. This program is going to be around for a good long while. Um, now let's move into the last two, Sublime Text and Brackets. These are more uh, text-oriented editors. So Sublime Text basically is fully in the coding view. There is no visual browsing of, of, the, of the resulting web page. However, for editing the code itself, it's really, really fun. It is clean, it's colorful. That's, I believe, why they call it Sublime. And brackets, this is an interesting one. Brackets for me is that mix of Sublime Text and Dreamweaver. It gives you some of the pre-visualization capabilities, especially for CSS. I think that's the key point. CSS is the greatest advantage of uh, brackets as, as I see it. So brackets, great tool. The advantage, main advantage, the core feature, the CSS visualization. You actually have a panel to preview. So brackets, lightweight, powerful, sublime text, excellent for editing directly in the code view. Dreamweaver, you know, sort of the jack of all trades. You can build by drag and drop. You can build by coding however you want. Many, many features. So the level of complexity might be higher. Uh, Pingrow, Bootstrap Editor, pretty handy, complex, robust. Pingendo, lightweight, free, harnesses the Bootstrap. I, lo I love it, I like it. I'm not gonna say my it's my favorite, but let's say uh, I've been using it uh, quite a lot recently. So this is it, five web editors for rapid web prototyping.